adding capacity to our Fibay NAS or DAS products. Our capacity calculator is a quick and easy way to understand how your drives will affect the used capacity, the available capacity, and the raw capacity that you're putting in your Drobo. In this video, we're going to go over how capacity works on a 5-bay Drobo. Now, this works for DAS and NAS. Uh, so we're going to go into kind of how this works. Now, the capacity calculator can be found on drobo.com uh, under our resources tab, and then scroll down until you see capacity calculator. Now you can see we range in drives from 1 to 12 terabytes. So let's say we take the uh, 2 terabytes down the line and say we wanted to add these to our 5 bay box. And we can go straight down the line. Now remember you always want to start with at least 2 drives in every Drobo to get single disk redundancy. And to do dual disk redundancy you need to start with 3 drives. Now if you selected these you'll obviously see performances on the third, fourth, and fifth bay, depending on what redundancy level you've selected. Now, when we fill this all the way through the brim here with all two terabytes drives, you know, you can quickly and clearly see over, you know, obviously over five bays, you're going to have 10 terabytes of data using two terabyte drives and giving you a total available space of 7.26. So right here, we have a breakdown of what the space is and how we use it. Now, if you selected dual disk redundancy, that means you could have up to two simultaneous disk failures uh, and no loss of data. You would just check this box right here, and you could basically see that we dropped down to 5.4 or 4 uh, terabytes. Now, the other great thing about Drobo is you don't have to use the same drive capacity down the line. Now, this does do better for in terms of performance and speed. But Drobo has a beyond RAID technology that allows you to mix and match drives. So we can actually take a 2 terabyte drive and then throw in a 4 terabyte drive and then another 4 terabyte drive, then maybe another 2 terabyte drive and maybe another 4 after this. So this quickly shows you that now we've scaled up to 64, 16 terabytes. All of our Drobos are uh, capable of going up to 64 terabytes. And again, you still have your same kind of chart here. Uh, the raw capacity we put in is 16 terabytes in drives. That's giving us 10.89 terabytes of data. This is the breakdown. And if we select dual disk redundancy, that's the new breakdown for dual disk redundancy to have up to two simultaneous drive failures. Now, the great thing about dual disk redundancy is it gives you peace of mind of having a single drive failure and not having to run out and go grab another drive. But we strongly encourage whether you have selected single or dual disk redundancy to always keep a spare drive on hand. So let's say one of the four terabyte drives failed. You could easily just simply replace it with another four terabyte and not have to worry about it. This is extremely important under single disk redundancy. That's why you always want to have one there because drives are like light bulbs. When one goes out, it's a serious effect. If you purchase them at the same time, it's kind of one of those effects where you look at your lighting and one bulb goes out, then the next one goes out, and it doesn't matter how expensive the bulb is, it, it will go out. So you want to protect your data as best you can. So it's always smart to carry a drive on hand and just keep it sealed in its uh, anti-static bag, and it's just a quick and easy way to know that you're protecting your data. Uh, because in case of a fire or flood or any kind of natural disaster, insurance will cover the hardware, but they can never cover, cover the data. So that's the importance of having an offsite backup or a secondary backup and having a spare drive on hand. So it's always really important to make sure we keep our data. Now you might go, well, I don't know what this terabytes actually mean. I can understand it's adding capacity. Uh, if you scroll down on our capacity calculator, you'll see this little section here where it says you can store up to. So most of us know how many photos we typically take or have. And that's what you do in this section here. You can quickly see that there's this can store over a million, almost 2 million photos here. Um, or 946 movies. Or if we want to talk about documentation, we can store a lot of documents here. And you can see how this changes if we select dual disk redundancy. We will see a drop in kind of capacity available because we're protected against two drive failures. So you see the numbers slightly decrease a little bit here. 
And that's really a simple way of saying, okay, I want to see what kind of raw capacity I have here. Now, the nice thing about Drobo, like we said, you can mix and match drives. So you can start with the drives you have around you and then slowly start removing the two terabytes, let data protection complete, and fill them in with four terabytes. Now you can do this down the line. So eventually, once your data protection goes all solid green and data protection is completed, you remove your next drive and put in another four terabyte. So obviously, uh, four times five, 20 terabytes, available capacity 10.89. Now, you can always see this is under dual disk redundancy. You always want to just make sure we have that on or off. Now you can switch between redundancy layers, provided you have the excess capacity. Um, I mean, that's the beautiful thing about Drobo. It's just super simple. You just slot a drive out if you ever get a red light and replace it with equal or more capacity, and that's always the best thing. So one thing we want to show you is Drobo also keeps the highest capacity drive for the redundancy. So let's say I take out one of these four terabyte drives and I put in a six. You can see right here how the capacity changes. So if you changing out one of your bigger drives, we always encourage you to do that in twos, just so you can see the real gain in kind of speed and performance. That just kind of helps you down the line. Then the other thing we want to talk about and mention is the drive speed. You can mix and match drive speeds as well, but however you'll be gated to the slowest speed you put in. And that's why we encourage you to use 7200 RPM drives in your Drobo for the most speed out of your Drobo. And as well as we, on the bottom of most of our newer 5 bay units, we have an MSATA accelerator bay. That's a simple caching system that uh, kind of learns what files you're accessing most often and can increase the read speed of those about 30% faster than you know your typical files. So these are just some quick tips on using the capacity calculator and understanding how to use it and understanding what data and storage capacity you'll have for your Drobo. For additional resources, visit myproducts.drobo.com.